what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel and a happy new year today's video is going to be a january tbr i'm so excited for this month especially for the simple fact that is it is a new year which means new reading goals and my number one reading goal is to follow through with the tbr that is picked i am such a mood reader that i'm like meh i don't want to read that meh i don't want to read that and i never follow through my actual tbr i'm making it a mission that's my number one goal this year i promise you so when the wrap-up comes and if y'all don't see half these books on that wrap-up hold me accountable please <laughs> But with that being said, I picked four physical copy books and I picked two Kindle copy books. These are my four physical copy books. We're going to go through these first just because they're right here and handy and I don't have to like look up the synopsis. So the first book I picked for this month is Light Lark by Alex Esther. This is a fantasy with a mix of romance. I've heard so much about this. Everybody kind of says that this book is like the hunger games in a way so the back says welcome to the centennial every hundred years the island of light lurk appears for only 100 days to host a deadly game where the rulers of six realms fight to break their curses and win un unparalleled power each ruler has something to hide each curse is uniquely wicked to break them and to save themselves and their realms one ruler must die to survive i isla i think that's how you pronounce it crown must lie cheat betray, and betray even as love complicates everything i'm so excited about this book it is third person which you guys know i'm not the biggest fan of third person point of views but i am too excited to not read this book the next book out of i have is reckless by elsie silver i honestly just want to read this this month because flawless comes out not flawless hopeless comes out next at the end of the month and i want to read that for next month if that makes sense like i just want to complete the series already this is about theo and winter theo is like a family friend of Rhett and his family like the Eston boys they're like he's like a family friend to them and winter is summers who's the female main character in flawless sister and Theo, we meet them in Powerless, um, which is the book right before this one. And pretty much you can tell right away what type of character each person is. Winter is very much like black cat energy. She does not want you. She does not need you. She is going to bark at you and yell at you and scream at you. While Theo seems like a golden retriever boy. He seems so sweet, so kind, so wholehearted, like warm hearted, right? And he basically is very persistent towards Winter, and Winter is like, absolutely not. I'm about to get out of a toxic marriage. I'm okay. Blah, 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 blah. Eventually, they get drunk, and they have a one-night stand, and Winter just thinks it's a one-night stand. Well, Theo is like, I want you to be in my life. I want you to be my woman. And then a positive pregnancy test. I have never read any book that has accidental pregnancy or pregnancy trope in it. So I'm really excited to see how Elsie Silver does it. And hopefully it will get me into more books. I know that for a fact that Heartless by her got me into the single dad trope. So I'm excited to see how that works. <laughs> the next book I have is God of Malice by Rena Kent. Or Rena Kent. I saw that many booktubers and book talkers hype this shit up and i was like all right i haven't read a really dark romance since october in my opinion because i read the sinner's duet by sophie lark so i want dark romance i really want to get into my dark romance fantasy like fantasy not literal fantasy but like my dark romance era so i decided to pick up rena kent's like god of malice so it says i caught the attention of a monster i didn't ask for it didn't even see it coming but the moment i do it's too late callahan carson is a predator wrapped in sadistic sophisticated charms sorry about that um it's been a long day he's cold-blooded manipulative and savage the worst part is that nobody see no one sees his devil side i do and that will cost me everything i run but the thing about monsters they always chase i've heard good things about this series i heard that each book is it gets better with each book and I think each book follows a different person so I'm 
really excited to see how this turns out so that way I could get the rest of the series. So we have a fantasy, a romance, a dark romance, and another fantasy. <laughs> this is Fourth Thing by Rebecca Yaros. My sister-in-law Ashley got this for me for Christmas, so thanks, Ash. I am so geeked to have this. I'm so geeked to read it. I'm so excited. My plushie fell. Oh no. Do you guys look at that? You can't have it. Okay, there we go. Anyway. Where was I? Oh, I'm just so excited to have this and finally read it because the hype was hyping. Like, this book was hyped. And there's a lot... Ooh, excuse me. There's a lot of people that don't really like this book, nor do they like Iron Flame, but I feel like I'm gonna like this book. I feel like it's probably gonna be one of my favorite fantasy books of all time. This is about 20-year-old Violet. She basically is forced into this competition with her mom, or because of her mom. And it's where hundreds of candidates battle to become the elite Nav Navir dragon rider. Along the lines, she's very fragile and very tiny. So along the lines, the dragons are like, I'd rather not bond with you. And this guy named Zayden. He is the most powerful and the ruthless wing leader in the writer's quadrant. So, like, he's basically, like, the top dog. And eventually she sees that she really just has to fight for her own to, like, survive. And she also sees that the leadership is hiding something. So, and the bottom of the synopsis is his friends, enemies, lovers. Everyone at War College has... An agenda because once you enter there are only two ways out graduate or die so on to my kindle and i'm so excited i know i know i got a kindle you guys i don't know how many times i have to say it but i got a fucking kindle my girlfriend got it for me for christmas and i've never been so happy <laughs> the first book that i want to read which i'm also currently reading because i've already started it um, it's called Spin the Bottle. It's a college romance, Campus Games Book 2 by Stephanie Alves. Um, it is a adult romance. It says, Lila, I have rules. Dating, out of the question. When it ends, that's my specialty. That's, that's it. That is until an unexpected game of Spin the Bottle lands me face-to-face -face with Aiden Pierce. Red field with basketball team captain. Aiden is captivating, talented, and persistent. And he slowly chips away at my defenses until we strike a deal. No strings attached and absolutely... An absolute secrecy. It was supposed to be uncomplicated, but the more time I spend with him, the harder it becomes to remember why we aren't together. And then it says Aiden. This was never part of the plan. Layla Perez is tempting, assertive, and unattainable. Atten I don't know if that word wrong, I'm sorry. Untainable. Unattain I'm gonna skip the word. <laughs> and after one hot night that has etched itself in my brain, leaving me craving where we make an agreement, keeping it physical and don't catch feelings. So the more I see her, the more my desire for her deepens, even as her hesitation tries to push, to push me away. I'm determined to prove to her how good we can be together. If only she, she'd take the leap. Just, there's just one problem. I'm hiding something from her, threatening to reveal, unravel everything we've built. The next book that I want to read, which technically, technically it's four books or five books. Technically. But it is the Mindfuck series by S.T. Abby. I have heard good shit about this series. I know that multiple people have raved about this book, but, or this series, and I never got a hold of it. I never got the chance to read it, but I'm reading it. And if I finish this entire series, chef's kiss for me. I love that. But I'm reading the first one called The Risk. So basically it follows this woman who is a serial killer. She basically kills people who have wronged her in the past or have done really, really dirty things or really fucked up things to her in the past. And let me tell you, I'm like 15% into the first book. I am finishing the whole series this month. I, I have to because I'm more so sure that each book is going to end up on a cliffhanger and I can't do that. 
So that is it for this month. I chose six books and I'm really happy with the books that I chose. I chose two fantasies, two romances, and two dark romances. I haven't gotten my hand on any good thrillers or psychological thrillers yet. So if you guys have like any suggestions, can you guys leave them down below? I think I have like one on my Kindle that I find a little bit interesting, but I'm not going to talk too much about that one. If I read it later in a vlog or something like that, then I'll then we'll talk about it but that is it for my video i hope you guys liked it give it a big thumbs up and i will see you guys next wednesday bye